Good morning. By show of hands, how many guys follow Dads in Heaven? Okay. So as you may know, um, Nike uses a lot of athletes to promote their um, brand. Um, so today I will show you an ad of basketball player Blake Griffin. It's an ad that was created in 2011. To show how this artifact is effective, according to Aristotle and its prescriptive report, I will describe how its use of ethos and logos. First, I will tell you how ethos is effective. So ethos seeks to persuade the reader that they can be trusted because of their noble character or the way they present their ideas. Two essential parts that play a role in ethos is the building of confidence and character. So Nike, Nike is an academic brand, and they use Blake Griffin as their main case for the hyperdunk shoe. Um, they use a quote, I know if you can't see it, it's but it says, um, Blake Griffin will dunk on you anytime, anywhere. So they use Blake Griffin because he's known for his dunking. I know that, but he's known for his dunking. And on the quote, it says um, that he'll that he'll dunk on you. So no, so. As he's known for his dunking, the audience thinks that this makes him a credible source to promote the shoe. I think it I think it makes him a complicated character because of because of his experience and make, and that makes it a high So second I will tell you how logos is effective. Um, logos seeks to persuade the audience intellectually. It uses this ad and uses deductive reasoning, and it is infinite because it has two parts to it, the dunking part and the shoe review. The infinity premise is that the shoe will get you in the game, and or you will get dunked on. Like you will go um, pay the fight or something like that. So in conclusion, I have showed you the ethos and logos that this artifact 